I'm here to talk to you today about linebackers. It takes a special breed to play linebacker. I've had a lot of people who say, Coach, I want to play linebacker. I tell everybody the same thing. Linebacker is close to my heart. I had a family full of linebackers. Close to my heart. Linebacker takes a special breed to play linebacker. Let me tell you a story. My whole life, I grew up with a shadow of my own. Uncle Cardell. And he said, everybody used to tell me, hey, you play football. You're pretty good, but you know Cardell. Uncle Cardell, well, Uncle Cardell, he played, he played linebacker. And all this, I heard this story my whole entire life. They said he split a man's helmet in half, broke his face mask, put it up, and he still finished the rest of the game. You know how hard it is to split somebody's helmet in half? I thought it was a story. I thought everybody was full of it. So I went to middle school. Coach Ladders, I'll never forget Coach Ladders. He told me, I asked him that same story. He said, everybody keeps telling me about Uncle Dell. That he played football, hit a guy, split his helmet in half, and finished the game. Broke his face mask, took somebody else's helmet, and finished the game. I said, how do you split somebody's helmet in half? He said, he did it. I said, he split somebody's helmet in half? He said, yeah, he split this guy's helmet in half. Still finished the game. And I always looked under his shadow. Every time I stepped on the field, no matter what I did, I don't care how many tackles I had, no matter what I did, they said I didn't hit like him. Linebacker, special breed. Everybody can't play with this. A lot of people want to play linebacker, but you got to be born with it. It's got to be a hit, a hit. Most linebackers got a little something loose, a little something that they're crazy, a little something that they're talking, they run in the mouth. Real good linebackers aren't quiet linebackers. I can't stand quiet linebackers. If you're a linebacker, you got to be on the field. You got to know how to make yourself angry. You got to be able to control your emotions. It's like, a, it's like an aggressive, passive aggressive kind of crazy anger. Well, you're crazy enough just you're going to blow everybody up, but you're not stupid enough to get penalties. You're crazy enough just to blow everybody up, but you're not. You're almost to the verge where you're about to get into a fight, but you don't because you hold it back because you got that control. You want to play linebacker, you got to be a little certain kind of crazy, a little certain kind of monster inside you. A lot of people come and say, hey, coach, I want to play linebacker. I'm telling you, it takes a special breed. Everybody can't do it because everybody ain't a hitter. You know the linebackers. You can see the first day of pads on putting on the shoulder pad, putting on the helmet, walking out, first day's hitting, they bouncing around, excited, you can see everybody else, the fear in their eyes, but they got the stuff on, but they're really not ready to hit, linebacker, ready to hit all the time, even if they get hit hard, they pop right back up, screaming, woo, I'm ready to do it again, and they coming 10 times harder the next play, because they want to bust you in your mouth, because they don't want you to know they got the best of you, linebackers are going to take offense when you run their hole, linebackers are going to get pissed off and keep running the same way, Keep running my direction and piss me off because this is my side. Run over there, that guy might be softer than me, but I'm locking this side down. It takes a special breed to play linebacker. Everybody can do it. Certain, certain kind of crazy, a certain kind of person who just loves to hit, who loves punishment. Those are people who can play linebacker. Banks, Carson, and Gary Reason simply overwhelmed opposition in the mid 80s. Hey, we're going to that's because they beat the living day like that. We had a run in 86 where no starting quarterback finished the game. When you played the Giants, you left that football game. You were on your way to an ice tub. I mean, they've knocked down my front teeth. The worst injury I've ever suffered, besides my broken leg, which was another one, was a hip pointer that I got, all courtesy of the Giants. <laughs> No defender ever changed the game quite like the 1986 NFL MVP. Lawrence Taylor is the greatest defensive football player I have ever seen. There was a writer who said, a while the fuss, he only had 11 interceptions. Let me tell you something. If you dropped into coverage, you breathe a sigh of relief. You have to give Bill Parcells and the Giants a ton of credit for understanding what he was and how he could dictate to an offense. No back could block Lawrence Hill. When like I said, it takes a certain kind of person to play linebacker. One who's foaming at the mouth when it comes time to hit. You know hit is coming and you're ready. You know they're running your hole and you can read you read that running back's eyes, you're looking dead at your hole. That fullback you need, you know it's coming your way. That's a linebacker. One who's foaming at the mouth, ready to hit, ready to destroy and kill everything that comes in their way. Linebackers take no mercy, give nobody a break. You come block me, I'm gonna punch you. Take a special breed to play linebacker. 
Everybody seeing you. Angle stings of the left tackle. That was invented because of Marston. Son, get in bed,